What immediately comes to a foreigner's mind this year when thinking about Italy? First of all, the sea, beach, sun, big umbrellas, and then, inevitably, the expo, where the world gathers to talk about nutrition and the wellness of the planet. A link between Milan and the Adriatic Sea is therefore essential, a route that will not only unite them ideally, but one that allows those who visit it the opportunity to experience everything they could want to. Good meals, unique products, nature, culture, wellness and fun. It is a road. Yet, it is so much more than a road. Well, 2,200 years ago, with surprising insight that today we can read as local marketing before its time, the Roman consul Marcus Aemilius Lepidus traced an ambitious and peremptory route which still exists today, the Via Emilia. It is no coincidence that the ancient Roman road has become the main brand through which the region of Emilia Romagna has decided to promote the entire tourism cultural system of the territory at the Expo. <laughs> region proposes its many outstanding features, not as isolated and exceptional independent characteristics, but as a unique product, because good meals cannot be separated from the elements that characterize them, the earth and nature that produced them, the places and the culture that inspired them, and by the spirit and mentality that has kept them unchanged over time. The Emilia Romagna region, the strength of its outstanding features, beginning with the launch of three major brands dedicated to the three main thematic areas of international interest, Food Valley, Valley Motor, and Wellness Valley, has worked on the creation of innovative tourism tools to give impetus and stimulus to the cultural activities of the area and to give consistency and coherence to those on offer. 80 touristic packages have been designed and realized by the local tourist board, APT, specifically for the Expo, for authentic experiential tourism. From the Riviera Romagnola to the Apennines, sampling typical products and traditional dishes, courses to learn how to make the pastry or recognize wines, visits to villages, castles and abbeys, cycling or walking, landmarks in the motoring sanctuaries, days on farms, visits to vinegar producers, oil mills, wineries, prosciutto manufacturers, exclusive shopping and wellness itineraries. The region has also funded a call for applications to support the aggregation of tourism businesses with 500,000 euro, involving 13 groups, including product clubs, consortiums and cooperatives, in order to realize promotional and business projects to increase the presence of international tourists in the area during the 2015 Expo. Hundreds of production entities are involved, and thousands of hotel beds are available. The flow in both directions between the seaside and Milan is further encouraged by the project The Riviera Sells the Expo in more than 1,300 hotels hotels with a minimum of three nights stay, guests receive free tickets for the Universal Exhibition. Over 300 foreign traders and journalists are included and hosted to experience the culinary excellence and tourism in the region for themselves. But Emilia-Romagna is also a region where different events occur each day, both large and small, spanning between wine and food, culture, music and art. The region has created a really united image, selecting a schedule of about 600 events available through the regional website dedicated to the Expo, with a tool which allows visitors to choose the events which suit their preferences and specific needs. The Cherubini Youth Orchestra's performance of Falstaff, conducted by Riccardo Muti, is among the events which stand out for the Ravenna Festival, the best way to draw the world to Emilia and the only opportunity to see the maestro at work in Italy. Certainly the Expo in Milan, which is not far away from Ravenna, will guide people who are interested in hearing Falstaff, which is that it is the only work that I will direct this year in Italy. How do you take a world as complex and fascinating as that of touristic cultural Emilia-Romagna to Milan and present it to its best advantage in order to stimulate a desire to come and see it in person? Touristic Emilia-Romagna will disembark at the Expo for three months from August to October, enlivening the Piazzetta exhibition space with projects to promote the outstanding touristic features in the especially selected areas with demonstrations, tastings and entertainment. In the week when the region of Emilia-Romagna takes leading role in proceedings, a day will be devoted 
guaranteed to present 48 historical villages and their distinctive features, while another will allow the APT to illustrate all the wonders of the territory and its dedicated projects. And to learn about, explore and understand Emilia-Romagna directly in Milan, the Piazzetta will host a virtual map with a touchscreen from August, with 220 clickable icons corresponding to as many points of interest, allowing visitors by means of info, pictures and videos to ideally travel through the territory and its history by means of 15 great historical figures, cities of art, parks, historic villages, museums, spa towns, all selected by the region to represent the best of their identity. The Expo, a unique showcase, an opportunity for meaningful growth that the region has been working towards under all points of view, not least economic recovery, with its eye firmly on the future. I would hope that the mechanism which has been created in our territories in accordance with the Expo will be a seed for change for the culture of tourism promotion in our territory as well. It can really make us take a quantum leap in terms of communication, of which it can also generate a new entrepreneurial dynamism, precisely capable of making a vital contribution to GDP tourism growth in this region.